the other folks who are here, if you've played any of the Dragon Age games in the past, you will know that it is a very dark, kind of awful place to be. The setting is intentionally meant to challenge your beliefs. It's meant to showcase all of the awful things that happen when people are uh, marginalized, when uh, the powers that be decide to wage wars that you are not involved in, uh, and just the repercussions of politics, circumstance, the environment, um, infighting between uh, various factions, that sort of thing, slavery. It's uh, the type of game where every character has a personal trauma that they uh, need to endure, some sort of twisted darkness that uh, usually the the protagonist will help uh, bring to light or help, I guess, recover or recuperate, rehabilitate that person, or at the very least, challenge their perspective. Uh, back in 2014, Dragon Age Inquisition, amazing game, loved it. I guess it was panned by the audience at the time. No, no, I thought it was freaking outstanding. It was what a Dragon Age game should be. Bears all the same themes. Has characters that people are people are in love with, attached to. But the reason that they are attached to those characters is because of the story that surrounds them. Nowadays, when we move to uh, to marketing a game, I feel like we've EA in particular has made this misstep a couple of times, where they will focus a lot on the companions as a selling point, and uh, instead of instead of the uh, sort of like personalities, people that you you learn about and uh, grow closer to as you play through the game. In other words, the game is about the story and you create an attachment to the characters within it by virtue of playing through that story. So when you kind of try to market the, the game uh, or like make the marketing focus the actual characters you know, as a feature subset, then you deprive them at least a little bit of that opportunity. And you end up making things like the trailer that I'm about to show you. So Dragon Age Inquisition 2014 is now 2024. Dragon Age The Veil Guard, previously named Dragon Age Dreadwolf. You can see the shift actually in the um, in the marketing strategy. Dreadwolf being Solas. And uh, in the conflict, primarily centering on the events that... Uh, occurred in the Trespasser DLC for Dragon Age Inquisition. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's fine. But you can see that marketing shift from Dreadwolf to the Veilguard. Also, the Veilguard? Let's just call it Veilguard, please. Makes no sense. It's not catchy. It's not sexy. Why did you do that? Anyway, uh, the Veilguard being the your crew of, of people. What I've had really, really interesting, and we'll so we'll go through the trailer. I'm going to commentate through it. Not going to be a whole lot, but uh, watch the trailer first, linked in the description below. Get your your free, fresh start to finish take before I jack it up. And I want to ask, uh, especially for those of you who have played Dragon Age Inquisition or any of the other Dragon Age titles. Does this game feel like Dragon Age? My answer is no, obviously. I didn't realize how upset I was about this um, until I started talking about it. And so this is not my normal style of content. You don't need to like, subscribe. This thing, this doesn't normally happen. I like to uh, formulate my videos a little bit more. When you think about the thoughts on better gaming series, this is not that. This is uh, almost a rant. 
So enjoy, I guess. Beric. Harding. This will take more than you and me. What are you thinking? We need someone to be our eyes and ears in the shadows. Okay. Uh, the superhero openings should be the first red flag. Actually, the first red flag was uh, was back earlier when you saw the stylized art, but I can forgive that. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Someone to bring a little darkness to the daylight. Isn't killing people so much fun? We're going into the fade, aren't we? Isn't everything so much fun? And digging up a lot of buried secrets. Okay. So talking about stylized art. It can be difficult to so that just full disclosure dragon age inquisition is a much more realistic art style which helps sell the the darkness of the world when you uh start making things look like disney it's a little bit difficult to maintain that same connection stylized art in general tends to be uh it tends to stand uh on its own longer than more realistic styled games rather Games tend to age very quickly when technology improves. I feel like we're kind of at a, a state where it's not it's not so drastic or noticeable that it really matters anymore. But changing your art style to be more stylized, I can I can understand and sympathize with that to a degree. A lot of people will say um, to go with an art. I say people like in the the industry will prefer to go with a stylized art style because it holds up more uh, for the re reasons that I said. Uh, so, so part of that makes sense. I don't, it's also, there's something to be said about changing your, your art style to try to get a little bit more artistic freedom. So I, I can half forgive some of this until we get to this character where this dude's face is like, it's not a real person. You've gone too far in the stylized direction to where it doesn't read correctly. It looks like a Disney cartoon. I don't think that was their intention. Let's continue on. What about Darkspawn? Yeah. Someone will the the what about Darkspawn with a little giggle from from Harding? Jesus. Okay. So again, Dragon Age. The blight is a a menace that sweeps across the entire uh, continent and there are there are a group of uh, like a faction called wardens which is what this this character um, is who who are just bound they they're oath uh, oath bound to fight the dark spawn which is what's happening now look at this dude though he's so happy and between us and a pack of demons and okay well this is a fun fun frame in the background, David Bowie's We Can Be Heroes, modernized and uh, mixed so that it's it's cool and hip. They did the same thing for uh, Battlefield 2042. And it, it all kind of represents this focus on the characters, which is not where I feel the marketing efforts should be placed. That's one of the things that got Battlefield 2042 in trouble in the first place. And I see the same beats here. Listen, I'm still going to play the game. I'm just not going to be happy about it. <laughs> you know there will be dragons. Right. We'll need someone with fire in their blood. One more thing. I keep missing it. The so this particular character 
first off, why are you jumping so high? I'm assuming that the ground exploded and you're taking that to your advantage. It's fine. The but this uh like again, just the cartooniness of everything. It's a really cool character design. I think that's super interesting. But it feels so wrong. Nothing about this feels dark. It doesn't feel dire. And you'll see it just beats through throughout the entire the entire trailer. One more thing. This crew needs a leader. Someone we can count on. Okay, so notice the particle effects when when they're hitting these guys. Uh it's it's not blood. It's you know, just uh sweat. You know, is kind of what you'd uh, pretend it is that suspension of disbelief and there's no uh there's no kill shots except when Varric shoots a dude in the chest with a crossbow the uh oh and i guess there's like a broken neck but all of this is so if you're trying to to market uh a game it kind of behooves you to to use a trailer that is more pg-13 unless you're really leaning into the themes of the game which in Dragon Age Inquisition, again, very, 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 very dark. People's throats slit, blood everywhere. This game doesn't showcase any of that. Not only does it not do that, which, again, I could, like, understand it. You can't market things with blood in China, just as an example, because, uh, or, like, all the blood needs to be either, like, a different color or replaced or uh, just not exist. So some of this might be them just kind of try to kill two birds with one stone by making it seem more more friendly and fun. It's still garbage. Someone that the world can count on. But where <sighs> so the the cartooniness of this trailer the uh the whimsical nature of it it's too fun it doesn't represent dragon age this is not a dragon age game if you expected the the franchise's themes to be present also let's just go back to um just like why what why did these people all decide to start running while <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't get it. It's, most of this trailer is really good, but this choreography is is just bonkers. But where are we gonna find? Yes, we can be heroes just for one day, but we shouldn't be heroes. That's not what this game is about. This game is about trying to triumph over really awful, insurmountable odds. You start with nothing. You start with less than nothing. In Dragon Age Inquisition, you did something awful. And you were a prisoner. You have to prove your worth. Cassandra was about to, she would love to execute you. And Leliana will probably find you anyway, if you were awful. So that proof, that belief that you can do great things is what pushes you forward. This trailer reads too much like you're already going to win. There's no chance of failure. There's no uh, drama, darkness, feeling of risk or loss or choice. Again, I don't think it's Dragon Age. If this was a different game, like just not, not Dragon Age, it would be freaking awesome. The, uh, the technical prowess. So let, I, I should have done, done this at the start, but let's acknowledge that anytime that you're creating a game of this scale, 
of uh, just like look at look at how much is going on, and even you know the the, the cutscenes and just the individual uh, the character designs and the the, uh, the audio and the art and just even the storyboarding that went into this, which you'll never see. A game is a product of, uh, or a triple A game would be a product of hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands of hours. And they did a phenomenal job. The unfortunate circumstance that I think is thrust upon the people who designed this game is that of uh, the, the typical sins of management where, uh, here we're not even going to finish it. Let me switch over. It's in order to, to create a game, a, a triple in the triple A space, like you need, you need the approval to do that. You need the funding to, to do that, which also means that you need to uh, convince people who know nothing about games that it's worth doing. All the the suits and the uh, the people that they are kind of beholden to, and just the you know the shareholders and that sort of thing. Uh, they need to to know that the game is going to be successful. A way for a game to be successful is to cater to an audience that you know is going to play it. Dragon Age already has you know millions and millions of people who are going to to play that game, regardless. It doesn't matter what this game was. If this was Dragon Age uh, Tetris, people are going to play it. At the very least, millions of people will be exposed to it. So in order to, to ensure success, there's a lot of things that they're doing uh, safely to maximize the, the value of the existing audience and extend it into the modern audience who doesn't know who didn't play Dragon Age for the past 10 years or any of the, the Dragon Age franchise. In fact, those people, and you'll see deals and stuff come out because they'll, they'll definitely uh, you know, sell the games again at a discount on Origin and, and that sort of thing in tandem with this release so that you can go back and play it. Uh, they're, they're catering to a new audience now. It's not you. It's not me. Because they are, already got us. We're going to play it regardless. Therefore, the game is not really for us. I hate that. It bothers me a lot because what it comes down to is that money is de uh, is deciding the, the direction. And it should be the art that decides the direction. It should be the uh, all the, the skills and the, the design and the community and the power that comes from creativity. That's what should drive the game forward. And in order to do that, you have to have an understanding of what the game is based on, what the people cared about, and why they originally became attached to it. EA has never been a company that uh, understood that. They're only going for the almighty dollar and other currencies around the world. It's really unfortunate. Anyway, that's real cut it. Uh, if this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, and blah, 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 blah. But more importantly, let me know what you think about Dragon Age as it is on the horizon. And yeah, just leave a comment. Thanks very much, folks. Real signing off.